from super fast electron rain pouring down on earth to an ancient species of owls that was active during the day. These are some of the stories that we talk about on this episode of Scientifix. I am Mohana Basu and every week on The Prince Scientifix, I bring you a roundup of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. This week, scientists have discovered a new source of super-fast energetic electrons raining down on Earth, a phenomenon that contributes to the colourful aurora but at the same time poses hazards to satellites, spacecraft and astronauts. The researchers observed unexpected electron precipitation from low Earth orbit using the ELSIN mission, a pair of tiny satellites at University of California, Los Angeles. By combining the ELFIN data with more distant observations from NASA's Themis spacecraft, the scientists determined that the sudden downpour was caused by what is known as the Whistler waves, a type of electromagnetic wave that ripples through plasma in space and affects electrons in the Earth's magnetosphere, causing them to spill over into the atmosphere. The findings demonstrate that Whistler waves are responsible for far more electron rain than current theories and space weather models predict. Meanwhile, researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences have discovered the well-preserved fossil skeleton of an extinct owl that lived more than 6 million years ago in China. The study of the skeleton's fossil eye bones show that this owl was active in daytime and not the night. The fossil skeleton comes from rocks deposited during the late Miocene epoch, a geological period that extends from about 23 to 5.3 million years ago at an elevation greater than 2100 meters at the edge of the Tibetan plateau. The fossil preserves nearly the entire skeleton from the tip of the skull through the wings and legs to the tailbone along with body parts that are rarely seen in fossils. It includes bones of the tongue apparatus called the hyoid, the trachea, the kneecap, tendons for the wing and leg muscles and even the remnants of its last meal of a small mammal. This extinct species is the first record of an ancient owl being active during the day. Owls stand out from most other birds because of their largely nocturnal activities. However, many people may have not realized that a few species of owls are actually largely active during the day. Also this week, a new study from researchers at Oxford University find that adolescent girls may be more vulnerable to negative effects of social media at a younger age than boys. Data from UK shows that girls experience a negative link between social media use and life satisfaction when they are 11 to 13 years old and boys when they are 14 to 15 years old. The researchers suggest that sensitivity to social media use might be linked to developmental changes, possibly changes in the structure of the brain or to puberty, which occurs later in boys than in girls. But for both, social media use at the age of 19 years was associated with a decrease in life satisfaction. At this age, the researchers say it is possible social changes such as leaving home or starting work may make us more vulnerable. The researchers also found teens who have lower than average life satisfaction later use more social media. The researchers also point out that while their findings show at a population level that there is a link between social media use and poorer well-being, it is not yet possible to predict which individuals are most at risk. Also this week, in a first-of-its-kind study led by University of Minnesota Twin Cities, researchers reveal why liquid droplets have the ability to erode hard surfaces. Researchers have been studying the impact of droplets for years, from the way raindrops hit the ground to the transmission of pathogens such as COVID-19 in aerosols. It's common knowledge that slow-dripping water droplets can erode surfaces over time. But why can something seemingly soft and fluid make such a huge impact on hard surfaces? In the past, droplet impact has only been analyzed visually using high-speed cameras. But researchers used a new technique called high-speed stress microscopy which provides a more quantitative way to study this phenomenon by directly measuring the force, stress and the pressure underneath liquid drops as they hit surfaces. 
the researchers found that the force exerted by a droplet actually spreads out with the impacting drop instead of being concentrated in the center of the droplet and the speed at which the droplet spreads out exceeds the speed of sound at short times creating shock waves across the surface. Each droplet behaves like a small bomb releasing its impact energy explosively and giving it the force necessary to erode surfaces over time. Besides paving a new way to study droplet impact, this research could help engineers design more erosion resistant surfaces for applications that must weather the outdoor elements. That's all for this week. This is Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.